put a bit of pride into it, I suppose. It's um, yeah, it's a pretty good feeling, you know, having the backing from somebody else saying, you know, you, we want you to lead the team. So yeah, that's pretty, yeah, it's pretty humbling. Pretty much my late juniors was all spent at Craigieburn, um, till you know, probably 2012 was my last season there, and uh, wasn't I was going to have a year off, I have a bit of a break, and my uncle approached me and said, you know, maybe you should just come down and give it a go down here, you might like it. And I, th uh, I wasn't sure at first, but then I came down here and everyone was like good blokes, good club, good atmosphere, so. You know, I gave it a shot and loved it, so I haven't really left ever since. Um, yeah, obviously the standard in Essendon District was, yeah, it was pretty high back when I was there, and coming down to Division Three was a bit of a jump. But over the last two, three years, you really see the standard of Divi Three footy. It's gone up a hell of a lot more than it was when I first got down here. Um, yeah, so you've got your uh, co-captains, which is. Uh, Myself and Brad Moore, and uh, then you've got your vice captains. We've got three this year, which is uh, Mitchell Reeves, Aidan Young, and Jake Grimshaw. Our, our senior head coach this season is uh, Derek Shaw. Um, then you've got an uh, assistant, which is uh, Ray Walker, and another assistant, which is Grant Ranky. Yeah, they're really easy to approach. Obviously, they you know if you've ever had anything to say or they have anything to say to you, they usually get us all in together and we'll um, discuss whatever needs to be said and um, well, yeah, they kind of let us say, you know, use the leadership group, kind of have the final word. I'm probably not the most most vocal captain out there, but um, yeah, obviously you've got to be vocal to an extent and yeah, you've got to, got to also do your part and lead by being physical and you know, let's show the way. I'm a centreman, so my role pretty much predominantly is to just stay in the centre of the ground and patrol the centre of the ground, but also like give direction to other players. Being in the centre of the ground, I can see pretty much the whole ground, so I have to lead and kind of point out what's going on around the ground and also be able to be a target at the same time. Um, pretty big for a non-baller, so um, a lot of the time I'm, I've got a bit of size advantage over them my opponent, whoever's going to be on me, so I like to think that I'll be able to beat them one-on-one -on -one around the ground in marking contests, or if it's got any body work, physical work in it, most likely, you know, back myself to win, hopefully. Each week on a Tuesday, we usually go through, uh, do our drills and a bit of fitness work and stuff like that. Um, and on a Thursday night, it's more for game, game-related stuff like, uh, you know, say, say kick-ins and zoning and stuff like that. More game scrimmage stuff. I think the main strength of our team is that we're a pretty youthful side now. There's a lot of young kids compared to the last couple of years. I think like the average age of our team would probably be roughly somewhere around 22 or something like that. So it's a pretty young side. A lot of young fit blokes. So yeah, I think a lot of run. Uh, of the younger guys in the team, I'd probably say Jake Grimshaw. Yeah, he's a pretty good, pretty good player. He's real quick, good left footer. So I think in a couple of years he's going to be a real, real valuable player. And um, probably another one to watch would maybe be uh, um, Kane Moore. Yeah, he's a real hard defender, um, real good overhead, peels off his man really well. So yeah, I think he's real good as well.